Hello guys, uh, welcome to the Wireshark Labs and in this lab we are going to cover the Ethernet and ARP. So these all are physical layers, uh, uh, sorry, these all are uh, working uh, as a data link layer protocols, okay. So uh, we can see that uh, in our manual we have given a task to analyze Ethernet and ARP via requesting this. Uh, you must uh, site okay so uh, we can uh, i have simplified this also for you uh, so we'll uh, first clear our browser cache okay so let's uh, go to the settings and clear the browser cache for edge you can follow my uh, follow along with me and you will clear the browsing cache I will not clear the history but cache image and file. So I have cleared the browsing cache and now I will go to the manual and uh, first I start Wireshark capture. So where was, uh, where is the Wi-Fi I think, yeah, here is Wi-Fi and I think I am not getting traffic uh, through Wi-Fi now, so I'll restart. Uh, so uh, I have got some. Okay, uh, so uh, I'll click on this link and I have started capturing already. Okay, so uh, this page is loading, and you can see here. So we will filter first by HTTP, and you can see that we have requested this page. Uh, and uh, we have requested this page so we'll see the information of this request okay so we see the frame information so uh, ethernet second and frame uh, information okay so in the ethernet uh, we are using a destination uh, ip address uh, that is this and uh, that is our uh, sorry, th this is not IP address, this is MAC address, okay. And we are using a, a CloudNet address uh, as a source and uh, this this address is called a uh, locally admin administered address that is my MAC address and it is uh, using a CloudNet address uh, that is called globally, you can see here globally unique address, okay. So, uh, this information are something that uh, maybe go uh, above our head because uh, we are not uh, that kind of professional in uh, this field. Okay, so we can just analyze this information. Uh, frame in the frame there is section number information is there and the interface ID that is uh, my network interface card ID is there. Encapsulation type is there. Arrival time and time shift for that packet uh, epoch time that uh, time uh, taken to reach uh, that packet okay and the uh, time delta and uh, there is frame number also there frame length is also there uh, capture length is also there frame is mark uh, is false and ignore it uh, is false okay so protocols uh, in the frame is Ethernet, Ethernet type uh, and IP, TCP and HTTP. Uh, there are coloring rule name HTTP and uh, the HTTP and TCP port. Uh, HTTP is uh, using coloring rule string is HTTP, TCP port and uh, port 80 and HTTP 2 okay so uh, using this all information you can answer these questions that what is the ethernet address of your computer okay so we can see that ethernet address of our computer is the source address is this okay that is uh, 30.03.cs. okay so this is ethernet address and uh, you can uh, see the destination address in ethernet frame so we have already seen the all the value and you can answer these questions very easily so uh, we have uh, covered ethernet uh, yet and uh, uh, we will cover now arp so let us search for arp here only so you can see that uh, arp is address resolution 
protocol okay so uh, what arp does that it uh, tries to uh, resolve uh, uh, try to resolve the uh, mac addresses of over the local internet so uh, you will uh, open the arp uh, request okay and we'll uh, see the data that is uh, inside arp so arp includes some information that is hardware type and protocol type uh, that is IPv4 and hardware size and protocol size and there is a predefined opcode that is uh, one uh, maybe there is uh, one is for request okay and there is sender uh, MAC address that I have sell, uh, said you that is your MAC address okay and sender IP address is there target MAC address and target IP address is there okay so this all information is here yeah, in the ARP that is uh, used for address resolution in the data link layer. Okay, so we have covered the Ethernet and ARP. Uh, it was a simple tutorial, and using this information, you can definitely answer the questions in the manual. So thank you guys for being in this lecture, and will uh, will be with new video uh, in the next lab. Okay.